Massage. celebrities were Daddy. doing this, but everybody's doing it. But because celebrities are doing it, it's become a trend. I feel like it was such an Instagram thing to do. I feel like that's kind of where mm. it started, right? So, you know, like every blogger or even just, you know, people with a few followers have been doing it for a while. So that's my take on it. But yeah. And speaking of kids. Should we talk about kids? Okay. Do your kids drink enough water? B, do your kids drink enough no, water? No, they drink lots of soda. There you go. So, well, we have a, uh, a cure for that. These little tablets are going to help your kids drink more water. Okay, mom and dad, do your kids drink enough water? I bet all of you are saying, nope, they absolutely don't. Well, there is a new tablet out there that is going to help them drink water. And bonus, it tastes good and it is super low in sugar. I want to bring in the founder, Jeff Cornelius. He is with Jelly. Jeff, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having us. Of course. And we also have Jeff, Jess Royston here. She is a holistic health coach. Hi, Jess. Hi, Jenny. So nice. Okay. To of course. Nice to meet you too. We're going to come back and talk to you, Jess, because I know that you're very passionate about this. But Jeff, I want to talk to you. Tell me about your tablets. Well, uh, these tablets were developed because my son wouldn't drink enough water. I would send him out to soccer practice for like an hour and a half and uh, the water bottle would come back and only four ounces would be gone. Not enough. So we developed uh, these hydration tablets that you put in 16 ounces of water. You drop them in. They start to fizz up. In about five minutes, you've got a healthy, low sugar uh, alternative to sports drinks. And he loves the way this tastes. And so it gets him to drink more water and get to that 64 ounces a day that we all should get once you reach the age of eight. And so when you started this company, you actually had kids trying this and you did 120 prototypes to get to this one to make sure it tastes good and that the kids like it. That's right. We recruited about 30 neighborhood kids, all in ages ranging from like six to 14. Um, and about every few batches, we would have them fill out. They would taste it at home. We'd drop them off. We'd do a little run in the car and drop them off. They would taste it and they would fill out a Google form. And we used that feedback to dial in the color, the mouthfeel, the sh uh, sugariness, the tartness, um, and the overall flavor until we got to what we thought was the best of each flavor. Jeff, what are the ingredients in this? Uh, the main ingredients that are in there are calcium, potassium, magnesium, vitamin D, vitamin C, and then the rest of it are all natural ingredients that are involved in the actual manufacture of the tablet to get it to stay together. Wow. Okay. And Jess, this is where I want to talk to you because you're a mom of two as well and trying to get your kids to drink the water, but I'm sure with your clients as well, even adults, I bet don't drink a lot of water. Being in the nutrition field for almost 15 years now, when I saw how Jeff and his team made these tablets, I was like, send them all to me because I needed <laughs> something that my kids would actually drink that would keep them healthy and hydrated. So it was a win-win all around. Very thankful. Well, and being in the nutrition world, I mean, when you look at ingredients and you see those calcium, magnesium, all of those right at the very, very top, you know it's going to be packed with good stuff rather than seeing those ingredients you can't pronounce. Exactly. That's my whole thing. If you can't pronounce it, we should not be eating it. And I knew exactly, you know, the sources that, that Jeff and his team got it from. Really important that it was low in sugar and the right amounts of the other minerals like sodium. You know, a lot of times we think um, we want to cut sugar from kids. We also have to watch, you know, that sodium, the balance in their body to make sure that they're getting the electrolytes they need. But there's so many snacks and foods out there that are so high in salt and sugar. We need to also make sure that those are not in their sports drinks when they're going outside and breathing fresh air and trying to be healthy. And then we're just loading them back up with the salt and sugar. So he did a fantastic job there too. Well, and hopefully your boys have, uh, you know, helped all their other friends on their sports teams now drink this. So they're not alone, right? They're not and alone. They're I actually, the stuff. exactly. Their first soccer game last year, I saw um, my little guy with the lemon lime. That's his favorite flavor. And I see him like handing them out and all the other parents are looking at me. I'm like, no, it's okay. It's good. It's a hydration tablet. We're good. So they're <laughs> definitely getting passed around the field down here in South Florida. I love it. And Jeff, you know, I love that they're so convenient. Those, I mean, the tablets come, you can just pop them in water. Mom can put them in her purse. You can put them in the sports bag rather than taking a huge thing of, you know, a six pack, right? You've got this, this has 10 tablets in it. And this is an eight pack of, you know, wow. a national brand of sports drink and no kid is going to stick this in, in their backpack, right? Whereas you put this in the backpack or um, sports bag um, and they can use it all week. All they have to do is fill up their water bottle with water and pop one of these in. Love it. Jeff, where can we get them? 
Um, they're for sale on our website at getjelly.com. We're also for sale on Amazon. And in mid-October, I'm very excited to announce that we will be in our first national retailer. Uh, but can't, can't announce that yet. Okay. Well, when that time comes, you're going to have to come back on the show. So we can, I'd love we can to talk more about it. Okay. I'd love Jess, to. Jess, Jess, so great having you both on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Hey, still ahead. Hope you're hungry. J Jeff is from Smith's. He's our, one of our favorite chefs. He's got a mashup recipe using favorite Mexican and Italian dishes. Hello everybody, I'm Chef Jeff from Smith's. Today's recipe is, uh, we're gonna have some fun with some uh, beef and bean enchiladas here, but we're gonna make it that in a casserole, kinda like a lasagna, kinda like a southwestern lasagna. Super delicious, super easy to make. Let's get right to it. Okay, so uh, like any good recipe does, this begins with ground beef and onions. So we're gonna go ahead and start that. So in this pan, I have it over medium heat. Let's throw in some oil, and let's throw in our ground beef. This is just 90%, 10% ground beef. If you have any other, it works just as well. So this is a more lean one. Okay, and then we're gonna throw our onions on top of that. And then I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on there. So many recipes start this way for me, you wouldn't believe. Okay, and then I'm just gonna start breaking that down and just brown it just like you would normally. And then once it does, takes it a few minutes, go ahead and drain the fat out of it and then you're ready to move on to our next phase in this operation. Okay, so once our meat is brown,